Hi everybody, I'm here at the, uh, in Sebastopol, California at the Raw Health Expo and I'm going to go in and walk around and talk to some people and show you who's here and hopefully we'll learn a few things, so let's go inside. Okay, so I'm here inside the, uh, the building here and I'm with, I'm with Aaron and he's got a place called the Algae Lab and he's growing literally his own spirulina, right? Spirulina? Spirulina. spirulina. So I pronounce it. Okay. People call it all different things. So. So show us just the, the process here. Sure. So, uh, so we'll start you out with a bottle of live spirulina, and you'll mix up medium and give you a special powder that, that has all the nutrients that they require. And, uh, and you can grow that up, and basically you'll add a whole bunch of nutrients and then add the spirulina to your tank. It'll start out a pale green and then grow up to a nice dense green, and then you add more nutrients until you have a full tank of nice thick green stuff okay. like what we have here. Right. And uh, at this point, you're ready to harvest. Let's, uh, maybe before we do that, yeah, sure. Let's uh, the benefits of right. uh, why we would even do this in the first place. Right. So. Now, why would you want to eat pond scum? Strange. Yeah. <laughs> Spirulina have many uh, health benefits. It's a super concentrated nutrient called superfood. Uh, it's 65% complete protein. Lots of antioxidants, omega-3 fatty acids, and then factors that reduce uh, viral replication um, and reduce the glycemic index of any food that is eaten with, um, and also has anti-cancer properties. It also helps you to uh, break down fat, so it's going to help you to lose okay. weight. So, and we talked earlier about the alkalinity of it, so pH yes. is important too. Yes. Uh, spirulina is, is an alkophile. It's actually an extremophile, which means it grows in... Uh, water that has about 16 grams of baking soda per liter, which is so alkaline that nothing else will grow in it, which is one of the things that makes growing spirulina so safe. Also, spirulina has been tested uh, for uh, safety as well as for its health benefits more extensively than, and than any other kind of algae. And because it's a microscopic algae that has no cell wall, it dissolves as soon as it, as soon as it enters your stomach, so it releases all of its nutrients to you right away. So there's no, your body doesn't have to put out any effort to absorb all those nutrients. Wow. So it adds uh, a lot of nutrition to anything that you eat uh, with it. Okay. So let's uh, have a look at how you, you, know, you harvest it. Okay. Now I should also mention that if you buy uh, spirulina in the store, you get a powder that's dried out. Okay. Because what we're going to get here is live fresh spirulina. It's kind of a paste. And you just think about the, the difference between eating a blueberry and eating a powdered blueberry. Yeah. So obviously, you're going to want to eat the blueberry. So this is the blueberry. This Pick, is like the picking it right off the tree. We're growing it right here. And, and you can't get this any other way. You have to grow it yourself because uh, live press spirulina only has a shelf life of maybe just a few days. So you have to eat it right away because it's so nutrient dense. It's not just you that likes to eat it. Yeah. Okay. So let's give it a shot. So what we're going to do is we're going to siphon out some of the medium with the algae in it. Okay. We're going to pass it through this cloth. This cloth has 40 micron openings in it that, uh, that, that filter out the algae but let the water go through quite quickly. Okay. So the first thing we do is we start the siphon. And then actually we have to lower this bucket below the level of the, uh, of the tank. There we go. Okay, there we go. And you can see the green stuff collecting on the, on the cloth. Okay. That is live fresh spirulina being caught by the cloth. And we'll let that build up a little bit. Just for a few seconds. And that should be enough. So we stop the siphon just by lifting it up. And now what we want to do is squeeze out the last bit of the, of the water, the culture. Now I should say that normally if you're going to harvest uh, a significant amount of algae, you would do that by uh, siphoning out maybe a quarter, maybe a third of the tank. And that would give you at this level of density about a tablespoon of live fresh spirulina, which is enough. You can harvest that every day and that's enough to significantly supplement the diet of a person. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to squeeze out the last bit of the, uh, of the medium because the medium, the liquid, um, has, is all full of plant food, which is great for the spirulina. It's okay. non-toxic, but it's just not stuff that you want to eat yourself. Okay. 
it's good for the spirulina. The spirulina is good for you. And obviously, this uh, this goes this will go back in here. Yes, that's exactly right. All so right. we're going to pour the liquid back in here. Now, spirulina actually uses very little water, even though it uh, floats in water because you recycle the water. And now, what you got here is live fresh spirulina that you can taste. So, wow. here's a tasting stick. You can give it a shot. Let's see what that tastes like. <laughs> All right. Kind of a kind of a neutral flavor. Yeah. Yeah, and, uh, but it has a nice texture, doesn't it? Yeah, very nice texture. Yeah, so it's very easy to combine with just about any food. Now, this is much better than the uh, than the commercial powdered stuff, which uh, has usually a seaweedy kind of fishy taste to it. This stuff has almost no taste to it at all, but a very nice texture, so it's really easy to combine with just about any food. But why would the other stuff have a seaweedy texture? Is it coming from the ocean? Yeah, it's, it's interesting, actually. The spirulina, it doesn't have a cell wall, which is why it dissolves as soon as it enters your stomach. But um, the, the, it does have a, a layer of a special um, kind of sugar layer that, uh, like a gel, that surrounds it. And when it's live and fresh, that, that, that surrounds the, the cell contents. And so you don't taste what's inside the cell. But when they dry it out, that breaks open. And then you taste what's inside the cell. And that's what gives it that, that sort of seaweedy, okay. little bit fishy taste. Excellent. All right. Well, I appreciate this. Let's uh, tell people how to get a hold of you and where to find you on the website. Well, grow your own spirulina. Come to yeah. algaelab.org. That's A-L-G-A-E-L-A-B.org. Awesome. Thanks a lot. And I'll Thank support you. you. Thank you.